The January 6 hearings went into their second day today. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is another declaration of truth from your host, Terry A. Hurlbut. That's right. The January 6 committee had their second hearing, if you can call it that. And as with the first time, the country heard uh, breathless headlines and testimony saying more about Trump's not quite loyal staff than about him. But nobody seems to want to talk about the very poor ratings the first hearing got. We're going to talk about that right now. And as you'll see, this spectacle won't make a particle of difference in midterms. Before I begin, I want to shout out to the sponsor of this channel, which is Conservative News and Views, link in the description. And be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store. Scroll down near the bottom for that link. Lots of good merchandise there, including this t-shirt. Can you read it? Rhino hunting. <coughs> and while I'm at it, I want to shout out to another sponsor, Bitnext. This is your replacement for Zoom, Slack, the Google G Suite, Microsoft Office 365, Dropbox, WeTransfer, and Chili Piper, among others. Unlike any of them, Bitnext protects your content and conversations so well even the administrators can't see it. So this is your channel for secure comms, conferencing, cloud storage, and file sharing. Best of all, everything is back in, so you don't even need client software. If you have a browser, you can use Bitnex. Follow the link and give them a try. 28 days free of charge. You can't beat that with a stick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to separate the wheat from the chaff. Headlines from outlets like NPR and USA Today come with lurid meta descriptions. Now, before you start scratching your heads and asking meta what? A meta description is a tag description, usually a sentence or two, that webmasters put into their web page code for the benefit of the search engines. This is the text you see when you run a search. If the webmaster has done this properly, the text will fit neatly into the defined space and won't leave you wondering what they left out. Anyway, you got a lot of breathless meta descriptions. Deadly attack, screamed one. This, although only one person died from a shot fired in anger. The testimony focuses on the key dispute between Trump and the Democrats, whether he won or lost. The committee heard only from Bill Barr and other naysayers, not from Sidney Powell or Rudy Giuliani, which means the committee chose to hear and present only one side of that affair. That side seeks to paint a picture of Trump seeking to overthrow the very principle of orderly transition of power. However, John Anthony at uh, Sustainable Freedom Lab points out five things the committee preferred not to discuss. I'm going to leave a link in the description to his article laying all that out. Those five things show that Trump set aside his feelings and did what a president should do to ensure an orderly transition. Furthermore, they show that Speaker Nancy Pelosi at first took no notice of any danger, but when some 200 people let Ray Epps and others egg them on, then congressional leadership panicked. I quote, Congress requested the DOD supply machine guns, armor-plated Humvees, sniper rifles, plus Abrams tanks on Pennsylvania Avenue, unquote John Anthony. Now, maybe if Congress had taken the Department of Defense up on earlier offers of aid, not all the Ray Epses in the world would have persuaded anyone to enter the Capitol. But again, we have heard all weekend long that the ratings for that first January 6 hearing were abysmal. Train wreck screened one source, which presented a tweet showing how low the ratings were for the big three TV networks. Joe Concha then offered this context. The evening newscasts on CBS, NBC, and ABC average anywhere from 18 to 20 million viewers combined on a typical night. Those newscasts did not air in, do not air on prime time. The January 6 airings, airing in prime time Thursday, took in just 11 million plus viewers on those three same networks. Unquote Joe Concha. American Briefing said a little later that maybe some 20 million people tuned in, but... They also pointed out that presidential debates typically reach at least 63 million viewers. Here's the key. Fox News didn't cover the January 6 hearings, and they got higher ratings. 
I have links in the description to three tweets in all laying all this out. The Western Journal reported that the hearings lost the 18 to 49 year old demographic. And this morning, Independent Journal Review said flatly that viewers changed the channel in droves. Like all the rest, they showed that many fewer people than average actually watched. Last, and likely most important, Republicans and Democrats actually agree on one thing, and Democrats won't like it. Specifically, neither side seems to feel that the January 6th hearings will have any effect on midterms. Even Democratic strategists admit that people will worry far more about the economy than anything else. And unlike abortion cases, the economy will still be sour, thus making people angry in November. So Liz Speak at the Hill called it right. Those hearings won't save the Democrats. Links in the description of the article to that other article by John Anthony highlighting things no one's talking about to those three tweets showing how bad the ratings were, and the conservative news and views. I have another link to the awesome online store and a bit next, as I mentioned. And if you like what you've heard, you can like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Terry A. Hurlbut delivering another declaration of truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.